Greetings, Fright Nights and Monster Girls. Uh, I'm your old pal Count Jackula from the Planet Dracula, and today I'm doing uh, kind of an update and kind of a special video. Uh, the update is, if you're wondering what's happening with uh, Return of the Living Dead, well, that dovetails right into what the topic of the actual video is. Depression. Back when I did Kickstarter for the third season, one of the rewards was I would do a short video of anything that you wanted for, you know, like 20 bucks. And one of the requests came in from Sarah Dunphy. She said that she was a person who suffers with depression and she needs encouragement to keep going. And I really understand that. I'm a person who depression has touched my life. I have it. I've known a lot of people who have had it. I know people who haven't made it. And she just wanted a video to say, keep going. It's going to be cool. Everything's going to be all right. So, Sarah, keep fighting. Everything's going to be cool. Everything's going to be all right. And you are not alone. Um, the holidays in general are a very rough time for some people, me in particular. Like, you follow me on Twitter, I have that whole tear of like, oh, God, I fucking hate the holidays. I fucking hate Christmas. And the thing is, is that it's not really... Uh, Christmas itself, like the, the holiday itself is fine. Um, I, but what I really hate is the forced cheer. And when you're depressed, this forced optimism and cheer really fucking grates on you and makes everything 10 times worse because now you're sad at a time when you're not supposed to be. It's fucking unacceptable to be sad on the holidays. The irony being most of us are. The reality is, is that a lot of us suffer from this. And there are some very famous people that you wouldn't think would suffer from it that do. Uh, for instance, uh, well, we all know Juario who suffered from it. But there are also uh, people who are m even more famous celebrities like Jared Padalecki from Supernatural who plays Sam. He suffers from depression a lot. And he, they also lost someone to suicide in the last couple of years. And so they went on this big campaign of like, just keep fighting. And they sold t-shirts with the slogans, donate all the proceeds to, you know, suicide awareness and, you know, suicide hotlines and, and things like that. Uh, and even as he was dealing with this, even as he knew all the horrible things that his friend's suicide had done to him, he was still, he still found himself at a moment where he absolutely was at his darkest. Everything was awful. He was considering it. And he just tweeted, I need help. I'm not okay. This is not a joke. Help me. And of course, all of his fans jumped in. But what's more important is that his co-star, Jensen Ackles, jumped in. Started making phone calls. Tried to get a hold of him. Like, and it was assumed that what had happened was that normally that guy would be one of the first guys that he called, but like he just wasn't answering his phone or he wasn't there. He had no idea what was going on until someone was like, Jensen, you better call Jared. Like he's not doing well. You got to talk him down. And so he just immediately went to it. And that brings me to one of the things that I think is really, really important to remember in discussions about depression, which is your environment and your immediate friends and family. If your immediate friends and family don't understand or are just giving sympathy, that unfortunately doesn't really help. Oh, well, you know, can't you think of it this way? No, you can't. Oh, well, maybe if you know. You know, what you really need is someone to just sit down and go like, hey man, I, I get it, it sucks. Things suck. Maybe I don't know how bad because I don't have depression, but I know it's real to you. So t talk to me. Tell me what's going on. You need someone to beat down that door rather than be nice about it. You know, of course you want to be friendly. Of course you want to be positive. But, like, you can't just be, like, all fucking fake smiles and it's going to be okay. Because, it no, that doesn't work. The problem is, is that you can't feel that. You need someone who's willing to be a little depressed with you. Someone to understand a little bit. You're like, God, yeah, it's fucking dark in here, man. I, I don't know what to tell you. It's bad. It's dark. But I'm here to tell you, you're not alone. And Sarah, you're not alone. You're absolutely not alone. And when, when you're depressed, you do stupid shit. Like, my favorite stupid thing that I did was, at one point, I stopped taking the medication 
because I labored under this belief that there was going to be no antidepressants in the zombie apocalypse. So if that happened, I had to get used to not having it. And that's one of the ways in which your brain fucks with you. Because you're like, zombie apocalypse? Like, that's strangely specific, right? But no, no, for real. For real, that happened. And it, of course, everything got worse until I was like, all right, you know, fuck this. Fuck the zombie apocalypse. I'm, I'm just tired of feeling awful. Your brain fucks with you. It, it just fucks with you, especially this time of year. You know, it's all going to fuck with you. But you can live through it. You can live through it. And you're going to be okay. You know, you're going to be okay. You know, you got to believe that you're going to be okay. And if you can't believe that you're going to be okay, you need to find someone who is willing to get depressed with you and tell you that it's going to be okay despite that. And I got to tell you, it's going to be okay despite that. But back on the subject of friends and family, sometimes those people make all the difference. If they don't get it or they don't want to deal with your depression, then get away from them. Don't deal with them. They're not your friends. You need people who are going to be a little bit more forceful, you know, and a little bit more intense and alive, even if they also suffer from depression. Like people who have depression can live very intensely when they're when they're OK, you know, and it's not even like a manic depressive thing. Like some of the most intense people I've known were not manic depressive. They're just depressive. And there's a difference. And if you deal with it a lot, you learn to spot the differences. They really, really, really are alive. And the problem with depression is that it takes away the joy of living. It, it just takes it away. And you really need people who are willing to just really bring you back out, who are willing to risk everything, you know, risk that Risk the discomfort of saying the wrong thing. Risk, you know, their personal safety. Risk whatever it is they're doing that they have to put down in order to help you. Those are the people you need to be around. You need to be around those people. Otherwise, when the chips are down, you're ass out. And when you're ass out and the chips are down, man, the barrel that gun or the fucking blade or those pills and that ball start looking pretty good. There's a lot of talk whenever people talk about depression about like, oh, well, say this, don't say that. No, 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 no. You have to be a friend. You have to be a friend. You have to stand strong for them, for the depressed person, because they need you. Their life is on the line. Their life is on the line. You know, I, I can't stress that enough because their life is on the line. You know, you can't be like, oh, well, they'll get over it. They might not. They might go through with it. Now, we all know the fake suicide man, the guy who just uses suicide or suicide or cries suicide just to get fucking attention. We all know that guy. But you know that guy by having the appropriate response first, by, by going through, going in all the way. And then when you start to get to know them, you're like, oh, no, you're just fucking, you're just trying to manipulate me. No, fuck you. You know, but most people are not like that. Most people are not like that. Most people are really honestly, they need, they, they, they just need somebody. And I think it's really important that we remember to be there for each other, uh, especially on the holidays. You know, the holiday of good cheers. Also, uh, when the longest nights happen, literally and figuratively. So, you know, in conclusion, Hey, Sarah, just remember, if you're depressed, remember, that's just something that makes you like Sam Winchester. Ah, that's pretty fucking awesome. Come on, my wayward son! Get the hell off the couch and get a goddamn job! You're jaywalking again. I'm Sam Winchester.